Kalala. My name is Ramon, cosmetic chemist, esthetician, world traveler, chronic vacationer. I was talking to my mom and she was like, are you ever working? Which is funny because literally whenever I take these trips, I'm always working. But we're here obviously in a hotel room. I'm actually filming on an iPhone right now. Not my usual camera setup. Also, if you think I talk if you think I talk funny, I bit the heck out of my tongue recently and so I have a little bit of a lisp right now. Please excuse that. But we're here on vacation, middle of summer. I do so many of these where like I go off the grid and come back and I'm like, I'm traveling. But we're doing travel skincare once again and talking about my favorite types of skincare products, what I'm really needing right now on vacation, what I brought with me and slash what I bought just to deal with makeup, skincare, blemish prone skin on vacation in hot weather, humid weather and what I do to try to maintain a clear complexion. I'm coming at you makeup free right now. So what really goes into keeping the skin looking like this? Also, this is like an unofficial faves and empties products that I've been really loving and products that I've tried and purchased and emptied while I've been on this trip as well, just because we're on week four of this trip, I believe now. So yeah, let's get into it. As this is a get I'm ready with me video, it's gonna be a full routine showing my favorite products that I've really been needing during this trip. That being said, part of this video is gonna be done in collaboration with Osea. I'm gonna be highlighting their Seagull resurfacing scrub. So when I get to that part of the video, hashtag add. But this is the get on ready with me. First things first, with clean hands, we're gonna go in and bomb cleanse. I'm using the Glow Recipe Papaya Enzyme Sorbet. This is one when we were packing for travel and my husband was like, we need this. And on this trip, we did get the Inky List Bomb Cleanser, the oat one, but this is still one we're working on empty and we are almost done with it. But this one, I love, I love, love, you know I love Glow Recipe, but for me it's just, it's so lightweight, it's so silky, it's really nourishing, but it smells delish. Oh, I have a pimple patch on, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I do have one little, I think it's an ingrown, but it's a blemish and it's almost done right now. I'll explain to you in a little bit what I do when I get blemishes on these trips because they always love to travel with me. This is one where, again, I just love the way it smells, love the way it feels. This is something I've been using a lot to use as a shaving medium. So I'll, in the morning, bum cleanse, but before I rinse it off, I'll then take my straight razor and I use that to help line up my face, my neck, all that, my brows. Again, I'm not wearing makeup right now, so we're just going in quickly and honestly messily with this. And again, at this point in the trip, maybe, for example, I'm visiting my dad right now, but a long day. My dad likes to go out and do stuff. He likes to go out and do stuff for 10 plus hours. So this is the end of your day and you're tired. Massage yourself, do a little teal see again i love this because it is a little bit of a self-care moment because it does smell delicious but i'm gonna go rinse off right now hold on so now that that's rinsed off getting to the next part of the video cleansers again i'm highlighting the osea sea glue resurfacing scrub two things i always talk about is a i do not travel well i get off planes i'm greasy i'm nasty on top of that it's so hot in the southwest u.s right now where it's 100 plus degrees and if you're reapplying sunscreen and you got a full face of makeup on you're touching up it's just a bad combination at the end of the day the other thing i'm going to talk about is i love cleansers with actives and more multifunctional cleansers. So that's why today we're talking about the OCSC Glow Resurfacing Scrub. So this is a cleanser technically, but it's like a multifaceted cleanser. I like to use it as a cleanser meets treatment mask meets physical slash chemical exfoliants. So let me show you. So first things first, this is a cleanser. It has really nice gentle surfactants that aren't going to overly strip the skin or compromise your moisture barrier. Second of all, it features active. So let me get this sudsed up real quick. Also like right out of the jar, it's like a nice creamy texture. You can see it looks like that. And the minute you you wet it, it turns into like a nice creamy cleanser. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, it has like the black beads. So those are gonna be micro exfoliants. They're really nice and gentle to physically exfoliate, but this also has flower acid as well as other AHAs, Kiwi AHAs, I believe. So you can see I'm rubbing onto the skin. It's not really foaming. It's just nicely, lightly lathering. So this has hibiscus derived AHAs. So you're getting a nice gentle chemical exfoliant as well as Kiwi AHA infused rice microparticles. That's giving you that dual chemical and physical exfoliation benefit in one. Then it has bentonite clay and glacial oceanic clay. And so with those, obviously clay, we like to see in like products for oily skin, really helping to pull out all that excess oil throughout the day. What I like to do, as you can see, I've wet it. I've kind of applied it everywhere on my face. I'm gonna let this sit for like two minutes, maybe three minutes max, nothing crazy. And I would do this normally in the shower. So while I'm showering and that steams in the shower, I would like do my body or do my hair. And then after the three minutes, I'd rinse it away. Before I rinse it off though, I like to go in again with a little bit more water and just reactivate it, resuds it up. And then that way I can make sure I get all the cleanser off in the one go. Again, never neglect the beard, facial hair area if you have that. And also never neglect the neck as well. And here we are after the cleanse. Again, skin is nice and nourished. It's not tight, it's not irritated. This does feature cloudberry seed oil as well as spirulina extract, which are going to help just nourish the skin, help just make sure that your skin is nice and like, nourished after you rinse off that cleanser so you're not 
stripped and dry and tight. And the reason I love cleansers with actives in them is the fact that A, it's lazy routine, which is perfect for me. But also in one part of you're getting a benefit, it's going to cleanse as well as in this case, help to resurface the skin, you're exfoliating. And with that, you're getting much more glowy skin, more even skin texture. Your makeup's gonna go on a lot smoother, which for me is always very important. And again, having oily acne prone skin, having the clay in this helping to just pull out all that excess oil. The exfoliants help to prevent future breakouts, which has been going very well for me, thank God. And then again, this is a really nice nourishing cleanser. It's not very foamy, so it's not going to help strip the skin. And therefore, if I'm constantly exfoliating or having to do a heavy duty cleanse, I don't want to feel dry and tight afterwards. And you can use my code on screen to get 10% off for a limited time. Another cleanser I've really been liking in that vein is actually the new one from Prequel. This is Dr. Sam Ellis's brand. I did go to the launch event for this in LA. The first couple weeks of my trip I spent in LA. This is everything. Out of the three products in the launch, I think this is my favorite. So this is a very glycerin heavy cleanser and this is a gel texture. It foams the slightest bit, so similar to the Osea cleanser. This foams just the slightest bit. You rinse this off, your skin feels very conditioned as well. So those both have been really nice. I'm trying to lean away from the very stripping cleansers during the summer and using these really nice nourishing cleansers has been everything for my skin. We are cleansed, we're lightly exfoliated. Let's talk about really what my skin's been needing this trip is a lot of hydration. I've been having to find a balance between really hydrating the skin and what kind of moisturizers work well in that regard. I was using some more emollients, occlusive heavy moisturizers that just were not cutting it. My skin was like, no, you are dehydrated. So getting into some hydrators real quick. First of all, parts that I, we, we have been loving, my husband and I, and that we've emptied is actually the SK2 Essence. I talked about few videos back. I buy these specifically for him because I know he loves them and I am so ashamed that I love these as much as I do too. Like my skin loves these and we're done with this. Well, we're almost done with it. So um, I will be ordering a new one from YesStyle. One that I always have in my arsenal, I mentioned this in the YesStyle video as well, is the Isentree Green Tea Fresh Toner. Nice for daytime, really lightweight but nicely hydrating at night though. I might layer this under my other hydrators but this is not enough for me when I want to like, nourish my skin at night. Two that I've been reaching for, one from the Inky List is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Small, cheap, effective, really, really useful for when you just want hydration. Another one I've been using though is from Mixu and I bought this, I believe in Korea when I was in Seoul last summer. And so this is interesting because this is, what is this? They're bean essence. So it's like bean sprout or mung bean sprout, some sort of sprout essence. But you can see it's viscous. It's richly hydrating. This is like non-snail essence, snail essence. And you can see I work it into the skin and it gives a nice fresh glow. It's nicely hydrating. It very much does feel like a snail essence, snail mucin toner situation. This is a nice texture, but I will say it doesn't give me the same amount of hydration I would get from like my Jin Jung Sung essence, which I'm really missing this trip. I didn't bring it because the glass packaging is so heavy. So I will say I miss that one, but this one's been really nice as well. What I like is that I'll work this in, I let it sit down. It doesn't feel sticky on the face, like products layer nicely on top. I don't get weird pilling or application issues with sunscreen, makeup, or anything else on top of this, but it has been really nice. It also does give a very light version of like that glass skin glow. And then let's get into treatments. I've mentioned 90 times this video, I have oily acne prone skin. So treatments are very vital, especially to prevent blemishes. This is an ingrown though. For some reason, all my ingrowns always occur in this side of my face in this specific region. It's irritating. I don't know why. But uh, products I've been using to help keep the site clear. Uh, first of all, from Skin Fix, their new product this is their Adapinoid Gel. This is essentially a precursor to Adapalene. I mean, I'm not gonna reach here and say it's the next best thing ever. I've really enjoyed it. It's purple for my skin, and the reason being that basically Adapalene, as you all know, it's like the retinoid specifically for acne prone skin. It was a prescription only drug until like, the last like five years. Now you can get it at drugstores, Adapalene under different. And the difference between Adapalene versus Tretinoin is that Tretinoin specifically activates six retinoid receptors. Adapalene activates only three of those and those three specifically target more so acne prone skin. So Adapanoid in terms of how it compares to Adapalene is it's a precursor and it just has a lot better tolerability, so less irritation. But the studies that the manufacturer and Skin Fix have done have shown so far, it performs very similarly to Adapalene itself in terms of efficacy. So it's promising for sure. Definitely always love to see alternatives for retinoids for those who want the benefits of retinoids but maybe have more sensitive of skin so very very promising i have really been enjoying this the texture for this light gel it works really well over my hydrators which is when i usually do my retinoids full disclosure i did do an ad for this with skin fix but yeah this goes on really nice really quick no irritation no burning and that's been really useful for me sometimes retinoids still cause me to peel which is very interesting no irritation but like i wake up sometimes on my forehead like peeling off aside from that obviously bhas are a must this is my holy grail i've mentioned that on my channel time and time and time again i have done ads for this as well disclosure this is the notorium uh, bha liquid exfoliants and i like this because obviously it's the encapsulated 
uh, salicylic acid, but also it's just a really hydrating texture again. I really needed hydration this trip. So I usually use this after I shave and I use this on my face, on my neck, on my back. So this is one that my husband and I, again, we love. We always bring with us when we travel. And then one product I don't think I've really talked about on my channel yet. This is from Soft Services. This is their Clearing Clay Multi-Use Breakout Treatment. This is basically a sulfur mask, multi-use sulfur product. This features 10% sulfur, 1% zinc PCA. And I believe, I don't have the full inky on this, I believe it also has salicylic acid, a few other ingredients in this that are really beneficial for blemish prone skin. And I say it's multi-use because I do say it's for the body, first of all, but on the back, you can use this as an in-shower treatment, a mask treatment, a spot treatment. That's it, just the three. But, you yeah, I don't use it in the shower as much. It doesn't foam. So I usually, what I'll do is I'll cleanse in the shower, then apply it as like a mini mask and then just rinse it off. I wish it foamed a little bit more, but yeah, mask treatment or spot treatments are how I mostly use this. So I have been using this on like little blemishes like this. This does get spicy, especially if you're using other actives, but you use this too often. So full face masking, I will get out of the shower. My face will be red if I use this too often, but you get a lot of product in this and this has been really, really nice. Moisturizers, favorite category, especially because my husband and I, when we travel, this is where we are most like worlds apart. My husband, he has oily acne prone skin too, but he loves rich moisturizers. I tend to stay on the lighter side. So this is where we intend to bring the most products because we can't decide. So one I've been reaching for a lot is from Toradin. This is their Dive In Soothing Cream. Toradin, they've done it for me recently. I got their green line, I forget what it's called, recently. And it's a serum and a moisturizer in similar packaging. And then this is the Dive In line. And moisturizers are really lightweight, very hydrating gels. And then the serum from the green line has been a favorite. I did not bring that this trip i forgot it but story date has been doing really well for me and this is just like a nice hydrating gel this low-key reminds me of neutrogena hydro boost in terms of texture but it's fragrance free it's fragrance free and it's just a nice this is like look at that it just melts in it's like a hydro cream another one that's similar to this that i also have is the inky list omega water cream those like specifically humectant rich gel moisturizers are what i've been reaching for because my skin has just been so parched and those emollient heavy ones just have not been doing it for me which i guess is a testament to like how dehydrated my skin is especially in the socal desert uh, the other one we have this is my husband's favorite and i really like it a lot too this is from prequel again their skin utility ointments this is the tester. I don't have the official packaging on me right now. If you use Cerave Healing Ointments or even just Petrolatum, this has the same, in terms of occlusiveness, like the same efficacy, but the texture is so much more lightweight. So this is one where if you want to slug or like slugging, but Vaseline is too much for you and you can't get healing ointment or that's too much for you, this is even more lightweight. And that texture, that sensory alone is a plus for me. So for the utility ointment, I would like to use it, but I'd layer it over the Tordin, for example, because this is the hydration I really want right now, but sometimes I just want a little bit more occlusiveness so and obviously we're on vacation right now it's summertime we have to talk about sunscreen we have obviously a lot i've been trying a lot of u.s drugstore sunscreens by drugstore i mean like target cbs etc banana bow i just recently posted on my instagram has one of my favorites in terms of foot oily skin that i've tried in a very long time another one i've been trying out and i think i really like is from copper tone this is their oil free shine control face spf 45 they're not going to be powder powder mattes they're nice Satin matte finishes are very lightweight textures. They're also very cheap. I have bought all of them, so not sponsored, obviously, not PR. We brought the Naturium UV Reflect. This one, I did get a PR. I got it from their PR marketing team when I was in LA. This is a really nice texture. This is a really nice finish. It's really nice and milky. This one and the Copper Tone one are also water resistant, which is very useful. And they're sweat resistant as well. So in the heats, very nice to have. A couple Japanese ones, my husband's favorite from Biore, the Athleism one, also want to talk about a lot, as well as the Suncut UV Perfect Gel. These. They're ethanol-based gel sunscreens, and they set down quick, they're nice and lightweight. They wear well under makeup. One I got at a Murad event when I was in LA, finally, because I've been trying to get hold of this, is their SPF, the Oil and Pore Control Mattifier. This one, and my husband like nailed it accurately when he described it to me. He's like, it's not the easiest sunscreen to work in. It's a richer texture upon initial application. This is heavy in terms of powder mattifiers. So if you have deep skin, I don't know how this is gonna look on you, but when it actually does set down, you get it worked in. It does leave a very nice set and matte finish as well. So this is a really good option at Sephora if you want a more matte sunscreen. And then two body options we've really been liking, obviously vacations. We bought this at Ulta because we didn't bring the one we had at home and my husband was like, I just want something that smells good. Obviously vacation has an amazing smell to it. This is more for like everyday out and about wear. Another option we got, we bought a few sunscreens at Kroger and one that immediately 
jumped out to us is this. This is the Kroger sunscreen oil spray. This is an oil-based sunscreen. It's water resistant for 80 minutes. This smells like tropical fruit. It smells so good. The vacation one, it's giving like vanilla, coconut, almond. This one's giving like guava, papaya, coconut. Like this smells incredible. This is only like $15, less than $15. So if you live near a Kroger-based supermarket, grab it. I will say though, it makes you glowy. Obviously it's a sunscreen oil. It's a spray texture too. So it's like spray it in your hands, work it in that way. It never fully sinks in for me. So I do stay glowy. I do stay a little oily, but it looks amazing on the skin. That's what matters. And last category we're going to talk about, sorry, this is so long, is hair care. A lot of recent discoveries and a few products that, one product that we brought with us from home. Discovery number one from L'Oreal. This is their Elvive Hyaluron Plus Plum Replumping Serum. My husband bought this because of Roger, of all people. Roger talked about it on TikTok. My husband was like, I need this. And this is actually really nice. This is basically, think of it as a lightweight water-based conditioner for your hair. I like to use this on day two hair. So like revive it, basically rehydrate it, restructure it and it leaves your hair nicely conditioned really soft very silky and nice and glowy but it's not like really heavy and greasy so this is nice and it's also a really affordable option it smells delicious and then one from ceremonia this is a sephora brand it's latina owned this is their guava rescue spray this is technically a heat protectant and detangler but i use this similarly to the l'oreal el vive is kind of like a reviving spray for me this smells like guava it smells tropical it smells fruity but you can also use it as a heat protectant and therefore multi-purpose very useful and then similarly Literally, the wow is this the wow dream coat my husband bought this because both of us have dry hair that reacts very badly to humidity and it gets very frizzy and this is one of those products where it was advertised you spray it on your hair your hair is like impermeable it's conditioned but it's waterproof I think it works really really well to me this is one of those it's definitely worth the price points Kim K's hair guy was the one who first like, does he own the brand I don't know he's the one who like talked about this and promoted it and that's why we bought it and we've bought a few bottles of this now if you have very frizzy prone hair and humidity definitely worth trying this just make sure you use this the right way. It specifies apply it into damp hair and you have to blow dry it but with tension to really activate it to make it work. Follow the directions on your products. And the last product is, as I mentioned, I use a lot of stuff in my hair. I have generally day two hair and by that point I have layers of even conditioner, mousse, pomade, hairspray, all this stuff. So to break it down, I've got questions on this when I posted my hair routine on TikTok and Instagram is how do you cleanse your hair after that? One product I've been liking is from Riogio. This is their Scalp Revival Build Up Detox Spray. This is an exfoliant exfoliant based detox spray. It also has, I believe, clay in there as well. With this, I just part my hair, work it into my scalp, really massage it in. A, to break down product, and B, to help essentially give my scalp like some skincare love, some skincare benefits with the salicylic acid and everything. So that's been really helpful as well. Disclosure, I do work with Briogeo very frequently. I have done an ad for this. But with that, that is my summertime glowy skin. Get ready with me. How I maintain my skin and my hair while I'm on vacation. And it's a lot of products. Like obviously none of this is travel size. You have to check a bag to come all the way this way but even if you're just at home and you want to learn how to maintain your skin keep your hair nice and supple and beat the summer humidity and heat these are a lot of the products that i've been reaching for let me know them below in the comment section what are some of your favorite summer must-haves and skincare and hair care staples and once again shout out to osea for partnering with me for today's video highlighting their sea glow resurfacing scrub if you're looking for a really nice multifunctional cleanser meets mask meets exfoliant that's the product for you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when i post more skincare, sunscreen, and beauty related content on my channel. Give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys. Bye.